I, but I think that what we sometimes forget is that 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 that, that concession speech did not come about out of whole cloth mm -hmm. on that event. It came about after a very long and and very determined and focused journey to change the Supreme Court. Yeah. It came about 20 years earlier, mm -hmm. and we sat by complacently allowing the federal judiciary to be reconstructed in a way that allowed this coup to take place. If Clarence Thomas and hadn't we been there, it wouldn't have it. happened? Is that what you mean? I, well, there's no question that it wouldn't have happened if, if Clarence Thomas hadn't been there and if other others since Clarence Thomas had not been on that <coughs> court. Uh, we would probably have seen a very different outcome. But also what it took us to was a realization that Americans are really complacent. Mm. At the same time that in Europe, these kinds of elections in which the elections were clearly rigged and were clearly uh, unfair, people took to the streets. They, they, they crowded the squares. They said, we won't have this in Romania. And in America, we just shrugged and said, well, in the name of peace, we have to go on.